For a year now, they had been together, the two of them, he and she, and she and he. There were many good times shared betwixt the two, even in that small of an amount of time. She enjoyed having him around, and she reveled in the moments that he showed her that he adored her. His affections were endearing, to say the least. The first time that they shared a bed together, she woke up early and watched him sleep. What was it that attracted him to her? She could never figure out just what it might have been. He told her often that he loved her. He loved her smile, he loved her lips, and he loved to kiss her neck. He loved the way that she laughed. There were times where he would watch her as her face lit up at the sight of the tiny details of tiny things, like the colors of the petals on a flower or leaves on a dying tree. She loved when he held her. Most times she hated when he had to stop, like on the days where she went home early because on the following day she had to go to work. He often said he wanted to spoil her, to give her the world, even if that was obviously not possible. It was a cliche line, to say the least, but it made her smile. Her heart fluttered at the thought. They had plans, yeah. They had plans to stay, to, to stay by, one, by one another's side for years to come. He was a good guy, a great guy even, but she just couldn't take it anymore. It was hollow to her just a well-orchestrated ruse. Up till now, she thought maybe if she stayed with him, things might change. He might change. Perhaps what she thought they had could be true. The words still resonated through her head, like the day was simply yesterday. But in reality, it was months ago. That day that he said, I love you. She simply smiled at him. It was too soon three months into the relationship and she froze. What was it that she could say? So she kissed him and he didn't kiss her back. It was obvious he wanted more, but they were just dating. She didn't need him to be her boyfriend. That was how she felt anyway. There was no point to the entire thing. It was fun, it was interesting. He was an amazing guy to be around. He had his issues, so did she, but she didn't know what to think. So eight months later, here she is, laying beside him in the bed of his own in the bed of his apartment. They had spent the night watching movies, drinking beer, eating snacks, and then they talked until she fell asleep on his chest. She loved how it felt, the warmth that they shared, the feeling of being so close that they couldn't get any closer. She wanted more of him when he was there, yet the thought plagued her as she lay awake after he had fallen fast asleep. The sound of the television playing faintly. It was some song during the ending credits of some action movie. She didn't, she didn't know the song, but she liked it. It was a soft tune. To fit the sad ending where the main character died saving his wife. And then she thought as she pulled herself closer. Why does he want to be with me? Why is he settling? There are other people who are better. She wondered, does she even want this? Is she happy? Is he happy? He seems happy, and she is having fun, but they are both young, and why would they have to do this? Why does he have to like her so much? It was stupid. She wasn't that great, but maybe neither was he. She remembers at the time that he told her he loved her. She never actually gave him an answer. She knew it in her heart. She had never mentioned anything when he said it. I love you over the phone. She simply said bye and let the habit fade away into obscurity. He seemed to enjoy being with her so much and she tried but what he wanted he often asked what can I do to make you smile to make you happy and she answered nothing. Lots of guys can ask that but from experience she knew his words to be true. He would do it. If she asked him to drive three hours last minute to see her, he would drop everything he was doing to be there. He probably wanted to marry her one day. He seemed like the type. He had never mentioned it, but it was obvious that that was where they were going if they kept going like this. As she lay there cuddled close to him and taking all that he could offer, she looked at him and smiled, her little fool, her little lover, 
It was obvious that, without a doubt, he unconditionally loved her. But the world hated her. Everything hated her because they put her in this position. He was a strange man, but a nice one. A compassionate man. He deserved someone who could offer the same kind of intensity that he offered. She kissed his lips softly and slid from bed, putting on her clothes. She used the bathroom, the flush of the toilet waking him from his sleep. She had hoped to let it wait a little longer, but the moment had come. She could not let it go on any further. This thing that they built, she just couldn't do it. She couldn't be the type to have this type of intimacy in her life. She had hoped for it, prayed for it, but it just didn't feel right. Not with him, and now he lay there, half asleep. He looked to her, began to say something, but she couldn't let him speak. She asked him to be quiet, her voice soft, the melancholy of her soul seeping out through her voice. Her heart pounded, conviction strong. She just had to hold, take hold of her courage, and she finally had to say it, to give him the answer he needed. He looked at her. He asked her what was wrong, if she could do anything, so she just had to blurt it out. She went to bed, sat beside him, and looked him in the eye, and she said it. She finally said it. I don't love you. And then she left, leaving him wide-eyed as she went through the door to start her new life.